of, of, of a group formerly known as al-Nusra using chemical weapons in Syria. Rory, good morning. Well, the statement by the U.S. State Department that you mentioned was actually a travel warning by the U.S. government. And when the Russian Ministry of Defense is reacting to what is basically an update in a U.S. State Department uh, travel warning, there must be a good reason for that. And, uh, of course, there is a good reason for that. What is in that update is... Um, it appears to be the first ever indication by Washington on an official level that the group right now known as Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, formerly known as Jabhat al-Nusra, also known as al-Qaeda in Syria, is not only in possession of chemical weapons, but also actively using chemical weapons or there is potential of the use of chemical weapons by that group in Syria. And that is what Russia, the Russian government, has been going on for a long time. In that uh, travel warning, the Americans are referring to the activities of Sharia Arsham in the Idlib province. And according to the Russian army spokesperson, the fact of only one chemical attack in that province was established uh, by the international community. And that is when uh, the um, tragedy took the lives of 80 people. And back then, the Americans were absolutely sure that it was the Syrian government to blame for that attack.